All right, so I posted a video about cold therapy and how beneficial it can be. And so I think what I need to make clear is, listen, you should not be exercising in the cold. Listen, if you are exercising in the cold, this is what's happening. Because it's so cold out there, you have what's happening is, is called vasoconstriction. So the adrenaline sur surges through your body, causes vasoconstriction, which means that the blood vessels all clamp down. And so now we've got increased blood pressure. Um, and you can typically really, potentially, if you're not even in shape and you haven't been exercising, you could actually precipitate a stroke or a heart attack. This is why heart attacks go up around this time of the year in the Midwest and in the North, because what's happening is we got weekend warriors, snow's falling. You're like, oh gosh, let me get out there and shovel the snow. Let me shovel my, my, my grandma's snow. Let me shovel everybody's snow. And what's happening is in those cold conditions, you've got vasoconstriction. You've got so much strenuous activity happening in the upper extremities, not much in the lower extremities, and it's causing heart attacks and strokes. So listen, I want to be clear. Do not exercise in this cold weather outside. So I had to get back to the lab to just kind of show you how serious I am about this. Um, this is a journal article, and it basically says the connection between the quantity and duration of snowfall and the risk of myocardial infarction. And myocardial infarction is really just a fancy word for a heart attack. And what this article talks about is how they can quantify based off of how much snow has fallen the amount of admissions for chest pain for men correlates with that snowfall in terms of inches. So when I say, listen, it, this is not the time to get out and shovel everybody's snow. And this is when I say, listen, this is not the time to exercise outside. This is what I mean. And if you zoom in, it says in all, out of all the individuals, so out of 128,073 individual hospital admissions and 68,155 deaths due to heart attack were included in the analysis and the likelihood of a heart attack was increased the day after snowfall among men, but not among women. And why is that? Why, why do you, why is that? Because guys are the ones shoveling the snow, you know, sh chivalry, right? As a matter of fact, I just called my friend Jamal and he came and shoveled my snow. And um, I, I didn't get a chance to tell him, listen, just push the snow out off the side. Do not shovel. So what's happening is when it's cold outside, your body is trying to survive. And in, as sur in survival mode, it is releasing norepinephrine, noradrenaline. We just talked about it in terms of dopamine increase. But when noradrenaline is released, what's happening is your blood pressure is going up because look at this. This is how you, th this represents a wide open blood vessel or vasodilatation. You know, we talk about blood flow. You need dilated blood flow to increase blood. We need dilated blood vessels to increase blood flow. And we need constricted blood vessels when we want it increase blood flow. So when you're out in the cold, your body's in fight or flight, it's trying to survive. And what happens is as a result of the diameter of the blood vessels switching from being wide open to constricted, now you have an increase in blood pressure. So what the surge in blood pressure actually can do is it predisposes you to have a heart attack. And that is why heart attacks go up when guys are shoveling snow. So listen, you're not being lazy by turning down all of these invitations to shovel snow. But what you should do, get a little salt, get a little shovel that you can push, don't overdo it, maybe sweep the snow out of the way, Call a neighborhood kid to do it or get the snowblower out. Because another thing is when you're standing there and you're shoveling, what's happening is you're not circul you're not really increasing circulation or muscle movement down below. So what's happening is all of the, all of the energy and all of the movement is focused up here 
in the upper body. And so with the upper body being totally constricted, now it's putting too much strain on the heart. And that's how a seemingly healthy gentleman ends up having a heart attack in all the snow. So I, I had to take a moment to make this video because I said just on my Thursday broadcast, listen, snow, you know, cold therapy is fantastic, but cold therapy and cold exposure if you're doing that in terms of this outside frost, what you're doing is you're taking your clothes off, taking on, putting on some shorts <laughs> and a t-shirt or going butt naked out into the cold. That's cold exposure, cold showers. That's cold exposure. Getting out and shoveling snow in this condition will kill you. So be very careful and mindful of that. Subscribe to this video, like this video and share it with anyone, you know, needs to have this information today, not tomorrow.